Welcome everybody to this round table that is entitled The Future of Cities, Challenges and Opportunities. Cities are the engines of growth in modern economies. They are hubs of trade, innovation and human capital accumulation. At the same time, however, our cities are facing a series of challenges, such as the high cost of housing, traffic congestion, other costs of density, such as pandemics, crime, as well as a host of environmental issues, many of them accelerated by the threat of climate change. There's a projection from the United Nations that the urban population of Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, is expected to grow by 1 billion by 2050, so within the next 30 years. That means 1 billion, you know, if you think that Greater London is around 10 million people, that's 100 Greater Londons that we will see new in Africa if this United Nations projection is correct. So this is a very, very important topic, and a topic where economists can hopefully contribute to guide these urbanization processes through, through analysis, study, research, and, and advice. Mobility, transportation is the glue that holds together what effectively is density uh, in these cities. And it's also very timely now because, as Ferdinand mentioned, uh, cities in low- and middle-income countries are growing, transforming massively, um, and this also applies to the way that mobility happens in these places. Sometimes this is not as visible, but it's happening. So just to put some numbers on it, um, the stock of private vehicles in India and in many uh, similar countries as well has been growing at 10% per year over the past decades and it's not uh, slowing down. It's estimated that around about a third of the world's population is currently in cities that are at risk of some form of natural disaster. Uh, really enormous shares, so sort of 90% of urban populations estimated to breathe air that breaches World Health Organization standards. Addressing these risks is really gonna require thinking about adaptive urban development in the sense of factoring in uh, vulnerability to, uh, to climate risks uh, in the urban development process. Cities are very vulnerable to climate change risks. So they are the ones that will suffer the most. We need more research on that. To understand the future of cities, we need more and better research because we need to understand which policies work because some of them, they don't work. And also these, no, these unintended effects that sometimes we don't want to see. And they are there and they could change things. And finally, my last message would be, there is not enough to know which policies to apply because these ones are working. We also need the good politicians to apply for these policies. And sometimes maybe this could be not the case.